the Texas Instruments optimizing compiler can now be easily used in the commotion programming environment. The TI compiler produces highly optimized code compared to the normally used TCC67 compiler, both in execution speed and code size. The advantages of the TI compiler are faster execution, smaller code using less memory, code and variables linked to internal DSP RAM, improved error and warning detection. The disadvantages to the TI compiler are longer compile times, and the optimization can cause skipped reordered code that can in some cases cause issues. In many cases where a user program is calling an already optimized KFLOP firmware function, there would be little benefit in optimizing the code. For example, an unoptimized user function call might take one microsecond to make the call. An optimized call might be 10 times faster and only take 0.1 microseconds. However, if the function itself executes for 100 microseconds, then the overall improvement is less than 1%. If the user program is performing itself a lot of calculations or I.O., then optimization can make a significant improvement. Here is such a program example. This program toggles an output bit eight times while reading an input, much like an SPI device would require. Here is the central loop that is executed eight times. Set bit, clear bit, and read bit are already optimized KFLOP functions, but the loop counter, data shifting, and function calls are all user code. Compiling and running the program with the standard TCC compiler requires 2.1 microseconds per cycle or a clock frequency of 473 kilohertz. To use the TI compiler, a pragma can be added. Pragmas are statements used to direct the compiler linker to do special actions. The pragma TI compiler must be the first line of the C program. Note the pragma in the file will cause the TI compiler to be used regardless of how the program is compiled either through the commotion.exe C program screen or through a commotion CNC action or via a custom PC program of your own. Compiling executing now results in a 707 kilohertz frequency, which is almost a 50% improvement in speed. The TI compiler has four optimization levels that can be specified, zero through three. The larger the number, the higher the optimization. The level of optimization can be specified as a parameter in the pragma. Here we specify an optimization level of three. Running the program again, we see about a 6% further improvement in execution speed. Another parameter in the TI compiler pragma is the thread memory size. If a larger than normal size is required, a hex number Place there will tell the linker to allocate more space. This will overflow into the next thread, but if the thread is not used, this allows larger programs to be compiled. Using the TI compiler also allows code and variables to be linked into the DSP's internal memory. The DSP's internal memory is very wide and very fast. Internal memory is six, 256 bits wide 
and single cycle access. Normal external SD RAM is only 16 bits wide and requires multiple cycles to access. So internal RAM is many times faster than external RAM. Internal RAM is very limited and precious. The DSP also has cache memory, which keeps data fetched from external memory. So in the event it is needed again, it can be obtained from the cache instead of refetching the data from the slower external memory. Here's an example that involves useful caching. Again, this program loops toggling the output bit on and off eight times. Here's a scope trace of the output. Notice the first toggle is slower than the rest because the loops code needs to be fetched from external memory, but for the remaining loops, the code is cached and executes faster. We now direct the linker to place the main function into internal RAM using a pr new pragma. This puts the function main into internal RAM. Running the program again, results in even a faster speed, 847 kilohertz. And the scope traces that the first loop and the remaining loops all execute in the same amount of time as no external memory fetches are necessary. Advanced users may be interested in some of the internal files used with the TI compiler. The DSP kflop directory has a linker template that is used by the TI compiler. This is patched by commotion with the specific files and addresses, but most the majority of this file can be edited by the user to perform other TI specific linker options. There's also a symbol table file that contains all the kflop variable and function addresses so that the TI user code or the user code can be linked properly with the existing firmware. That's it. I hope you find it enjoyable using the new TI compiler.